So this is a little bit um, impromptu. I got my kiddo to go to sleep early, so um, that never happens. <laughs> um, so I figured I would just take a chance to do some um, some sample sniffing and talk about some samples that I was sent from Crystal Fragrances. Um, yeah. So I'll wait until some people show up. Oh, hey, Rich. Hey, Tara. Hey, girl. Hey. Um, yeah, so welcome to the borough. Long time no see. Hey, y'all. <laughs> hey, Dr. Menstyle. Um, yeah, so I have a whole bunch of samples that um, I had ordered from Crystal Fragrances, and I wanted to go ahead and just sniff through all of them because I haven't gotten a chance to do it. A vast majority of them are 4160 Tuesdays um, because they had many more available there than they had um, like on Lucky Scent. And the nice thing about Crystal Fragrances is that you actually get two mil sprayers, um, which is just so much better. Um, and they have these, um, I think you can get like, you like buy six, get one free or something um, for a discounted rate. I don't remember what that rate is. Um, this isn't sponsored, BTW. This is just, I messaged Crystal um, when I made my order and everything and she, um, and yeah, so she was telling me that I, she actually tried to save me money because, um, yeah, I didn't know that there was like a certain amount that you could buy so many and get one free, that sort of thing. And I totally messed that up. But, oh, thank you, Kim. Hey, Jonathan. Oh, what are you sampling, Jonathan? Literally just left a comment asking if you were going live. I saw that, Rich, as I was getting ready to go live and I was like, he'll figure it out. <laughs> um, yeah, Tara, do some sampling too. If you guys want links, you're more than welcome to come in here too. Um, yeah. So, uh, what was I saying? Yeah. Crystal tried to save me some money and I was like, forget it. I already gave you money. So just like put more shit in there. <laughs> and she did. Um, and she's like, well, what do you like? And I was like, I like everything. And she's like, that didn't narrow anything down. She was very, very nice and really easy to deal with. <laughs> no Kajal. I eat guacamole. I love guacamole. Um, I love avocados, hence my avocado tattoo, which I would show you, but it is in the middle of, um, it's in the middle of healing and it's in the, uh, the ugly phase of healing, unfortunately. Yara! Okay. So yeah, if anybody does want to sample along with me, uh, holla and I can throw a link down, but, um, yeah. Alrighty. Should I just start with 4160 Tuesdays or just like reach in the bag blind? Cause I don't know what most of these are even supposed to smell like. Um, it's a kiwi. What's a kiwi? I love muscara vajour, Jonathan. Oh, I actually got a fragrance in the mail today. I normally I show my new fragrances on FNFTs, but should I go ahead and show my new fragrance I got in today? Um, so Taffy, uh, she sent me the info for a lady. Uh, Ola J Smooth. And um, so she sent me the info for this lady who is selling Mugler's over the musk. And it just came in today. I sprayed it a second ago. Well, actually, I said a second ago. When I had first sampled this from the little sample vials, it was gone in 15 minutes, and it was pretty, pretty upsetting because I really, really love the scent. I sprayed this one, what time is it? Probably six hours ago, just in one spot, and I can still smell it. So if you were upset with the longevity of Over the Musk from the sample, um, have no fear because it gets better um, if you use if you spray it from a thing. Also, the boxes, I okay, that's upside down. <laughs> so the boxes for the Mugler um, Less Exceptions line look kind of fancy. They have this metal thing, which I, <clears throat> I spent so long trying to figure out how the F to open this. I was like, well, that's not a hinge. How does this, how does this work? It literally like slides off. <laughs> so uh, don't like throw the box um, because you could easily do that. It's very sexy. What's sexy? Oh, uh, Musk Ravageur. It's beautiful. I love musk fragrances. Not a fan of Jasmine. But she has a cute tiger. It was wafting off all even. Oh, you could smell this, Chris? Awesome possum. Hey, Barry. I did two when I got my first one. Hills. Oh, no, not Siri. Shut up. Don't do that. No. Okay. Um, awesome. Yeah. So look like that. Yep. So this is um, this is over the musk. Come out. You know you want to. Okay. It's 
a tight fit, as uh, Tara would say. I feel like the way to describe it is it smells like what a man smells like after a woman's perfume is left on him. That's interesting. I love that one. Okay. I don't remember how good the sprayer is. I guess I'll just respray where it was since my tattoo's on the other side and it's struggling. It's weird how this metal thing goes all the way around and it's kind of loose. We're not like super loose, but you can kind of feel it rattle a little bit, but it's still fancy. Decent sprayer. It gets the job done. Nothing special or to write home about, but yeah. This is, um, this has some spice in it. I don't really know what kind of spice. I haven't looked at these notes in like a year, but um, yeah, just a little bit, almost like a nutmeggy kind of spice. Just, and then a smooth kind of velvety musk, like the, the scent is the texture of velvet. Kind of vanillic. Uh, that spiciness almost makes you think a little bit of tobacco too, but this is so good. Now that musk, I said clean. I feel like if you think really hard, you might think it's a little bit castoriumy, but not too much, I promise. It's not super animalic musky. You could, my dog is cleaning her hoo-hoo. Um, the metal on my two isn't loose. Yeah, mine's a little, mine's a little bit weird, but um, I think that's just, just makes a little rattly sound, but not bad. Um, does your top spin? <laughs> More beavers. Yeah, a little bit of beaver. But it's so good. I really, really love it. And I'm so excited, especially excited that it has more longevity than it did from the sample because um, if it had lasted like this um, when I'd first tried it, I would have absolutely um, bought it then. So I'm trying to get this thingy back together here. I just came in at cleaning her hoo-hoo. You know, that is like, that's the thing that, um, it's like the bat signal for all my peeps. <laughs> Talk about hoo-hoos and everybody comes out of the woodworks. Oh, fuck. Um, good timing, floral notes, yeah. Okay, let's smell stuff and hope that this musk uh, doesn't mess up my the stuff I'm smelling. Okay, what are we smelling? Who wants to, do you want me, do you guys want me to smell some like Profum Roma? Do you want me to smell some 4160 Tuesdays? What you want to smell? Hoo-hoo, yeah. I talk about hoo-hoos a lot. Okay, so this one is Ombra Aurea from Profumum Roma. So I'm gonna assume that this is an amber fragrance. Where have I set the ones I've used? Yeah, Profumum Roma. This one is Ombra Aurea. Let me see if I can... Okay, where's my camera at? There it is. That one. Ooh, this, that, that one's good. This is really, really rich. Definitely smells obviously like amber, benzoin, something spicy. Oh, that's really, really nice. Maybe myrrh. This is really, really pretty. This is very like not oody. I wanted to say Middle Eastern. It makes me think of like being in the desert kind of thing. Um, very oriental, but there's no oud or anything of that sort. Maybe like a like a smooth, creamy sandalwood perhaps in here. I don't know what the notes are, but this one's very, very nice. I know that these fragrances are expensive, so I'm not sure, you know, how, how many monies this one in particular is, but that one is very, very pretty. Let me set that next to it. I'll look it up real quick. Smell, smell them all. Yeah. What's a hoo-ha then? Well, Dr. Medstall, ask your mother. Um, does it smell similar to Laird of Desert Rockane? So I'll, I'm going to be honest, I hated Laird of Desert Rockane. Um, I don't think so, because Laird of Desert Rockane was, was very spicy. Like, the whole thing kind of made your nose tingle. This is, um, this is more resinous with some spices to kind of, like, counterbalance it. So it's very well blended, um, fairly balanced, too. Yeah, it's more sweet and resinous than excessively spicy. Big monies, how many monies? Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's embarrassing to think that I was once intelligent. Um, Ombra Aria from Perfume Aroma is, whew, that's not even in US dollars. <laughs> um, it is 
$265 for 100 mil. Lord have mercy. Um, that's a lot of monies. However, it is very good. Um, like, I feel like this it's kind of getting a powdery kind of thing. You know, like how when you smell, um, what's the Christian Dior one? Ombre Nuit. Like how that has kind of like a powdery nuance to it. This is getting that same, a similar powdery nuance, but it doesn't have the rose kind of uh, thing going on in there. Um, so technically I would say that it's, um, I don't know, the price probably isn't too bad. It smells really, really nice. I don't know about longevity or projection because it doesn't feel like a beast mode performer like Grand Soir, but it is really beautiful. I'm unsubscribed. You'll be back, Yara. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I sprayed on paper to sniff the art. That's fair. I can smell it and feel like, um, yeah, it's great. Um, but it's not something I would wear. And I struggle with purchasing fragrances I won't wear. Um, I have enough of those already. Um, okay, let's see what's next. Okay, next is Mrs. Gloss's Lemon Sherbet. Tara is an elitist. I Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Frizzy. Oh my gosh. She's wagging her tail so hard it's moving the stuff that's sitting behind her. Oh man, found it. We've all paid more for less. This is definitely lemon sherbet-y. This is very lemon sherbet. How else do you describe lemon sherbet? A little bit of vanilla. Very light and happy. This is really nice. Chai Accord de Desert. I should. Is that, does that mean heart of the desert? A core? Is core heart? I don't know my um French. Hey, Freddie. Yeah, that one's really, really nice. Something about this is reminding me of Zhirzhov's Fatal Charm, but without the, um, without the super powdery, like, aldehydes and um, iris, but it's like the, the lemony vanilla -y part smells very similar. If that makes sense. If you've, if you've tried that one, beautiful, very easy to wear, fairly simple. Um, yeah, really nice. All right. Next. Oh, I'm even using the, uh, you know, they send a uh, test strips. How cool is that? That's neat. Osquito. All right. So I tried Shazam yesterday with um, Tara and 1270 by Frappon, whatever that is. Let's get all these out of here that I've tried from this situation. Okay, Silk Lace and Chocolate. I have smelled this one before and I really like it. I've been debating getting a bottle because I don't really wear chocolate fragrances too much, but you know. One of the best parts about uh, Musgrave Azur, Jonathan, is um the longevity because i can wear one or two sprays max and it will last for 24 hours so it's pretty awesome fun fact don't wear that over 50 degrees <laughs> uh, i overdid it this one time oh silk lace and chocolate is good this is um are you looking your hoopoe again okay so this is very uh, light and creamy chocolate, almost like a chocolate pudding. Um, although people who aren't in America, I guess maybe you don't know what our pudding is like, but it's like the, the snack packs chocolate pudding. And there's like this little, uh, like almost like wet crustiness in the bottom. This is really, really nice. This is just a light chocolatey, creamy, yeah, and it's not a gimmicky chocolate. I really struggle with gimmicky chocolates that just come off like they're trying to smell like a Hershey Kiss or a brownie, and it's not it's not really something that's easy to wear. This is really nice. Um, nobody's going to look. Um, yeah, Jonathan, it lasts forever. Yeah, Silk Lace and Chocolate, really, really nice. Yeah. So it seems like with my, with my 4160 Tuesday fragrances, it's very love it or hate it. Um, which is totally cool. There, are, So far, there have definitely been a lot more loves than hates. This one is called Both Sides of Clouds. Um, and I know there was a story behind this one. I guess there was like a group or something that wanted to make the smell of like the sun shining through clouds. And um, 
I'm not sure what happened. I think they like they changed the formulation a couple times, and um, yeah, this I think is the newest formulation. Is like a combination of the first two or something. That was informative, you know. Custard, custard, yeah. Sounds nice. I have trouble with those types of chocolate scents as well. Chocolate greedies. I haven't smelled chocolate greedy just because I'm assuming that I'd waste my money. Did you get, I don't think I got the Havana one berry, but it is on my list to get because I've heard such amazing things. Old Tootsie Roll. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to smell like an old Tootsie Roll that you don't know where it's been. <laughs> okay. What did I just spray? Anybody remember? Both sides of clouds. Perfuma from 4162 Tuesdays on the board of Ifra. Oh. That's neat. I literally just blanked on her name. What's her name? Oh my God. Sarah McCartney. Sarah McCartney? Stella McCartney. Sarah McCartney. What did Stella McCartney do? Doesn't matter. Hey, JC. Did Waff's fragrance come out yet? The lady from... Uh, I don't know if their fragrance has come out yet or not. I've heard, you know, I've heard talk about it and stuff, but I don't know that it's it's come to fruition yet. I don't, I don't know anything. Ah, a designer. That explains why I don't know it. <laughs> okay. So this clouds one is very fluffy irisy. Scott's review of it today has got me wanting to get it. Oh, did he do a review of it? I didn't see it come up on my, on my thing. Um, floral notes. Um, oh, we're talking about the, the fragrance from uh, Wafts from the Loft, that's a another channel or whatever, and uh, Sarah McCartney was supposed to be making a fragrance for them. Um, yeah. Okay, both sides of clouds. This is a really pretty fluffy iris. And there's some lemon in the background too here. And some vanilla. So I could totally see how if they're saying that they want it to smell like clouds and sunshine, you know, it's fluffy iris and lemon. Um, it's very nice. I really like this one too. So what was the other one that I said was lemony and irisy? Didn't I just do another lemon iris? Lemon sherbet. This one's much more lemony and maybe vanilla. But there still smells like there's iris in here. Does she use iris a lot? Not that there's anything wrong with that. I like Iris, but yeah. Okay, that one was good. Next. Okay, we'll go to another Perfume Aroma. I found Scott's review. Gotta watch it later. Can you, Tara, remind me to watch that later. Can you just throw that into our chat or something? Because, you know, I'm absolutely useless at everything. Um, she responded to, oh, cool. It came out while we were sleeping and got buried in my, that's probably why. Okay, what am I, this is called Soriso. By Profum Aroma. I don't know anything about this. Hey, Fragrance Anatomy. Soriso. This almost smells like white chocolate. This is so oversweet, like syrupy. Maybe Iris in this too. I'm not really sure what this is. This smells like if you've made like, um, I don't know, like if you've, like maybe if you've bought some sort of chocolate bar that's made out of uh, stevia, like the alternative sugars, and you know, it, it just comes out too sweet, like they're trying to overcompensate. That's not for me. Okay, next. Uh, do I have anything from a different house? Okay, Juniper Java from Beach Giza. I'll just hold that up because uh, Juniper Java by Beach Giza. Okay, <laughs> no, don't throw it on the ground. Um, do to do, do. You know you want to spray. You know you want to do it. Oh, what is that? It's like a fir tree. It's like a wet fir tree. <laughs> it's like, like you're in the middle of like an evergreen forest. And it's wet. You know the smell of like um, 
like if you're walking through like a really, really thick concentration of wet pine needles. And um, so it kind of like, it's like lifting up the smell of mud and pine needle kind of. Um, it's very green and I don't, I won't want to say decaying and make it sound like it's a bad thing. It just is making me think of that smell, but this is very fresh though. And really feels like a, like a breeze is blowing through this um, pine forest. That is weird. What fir tree was my nickname in high school? <laughs> I, I don't know if you're joking or not. I kind of hope you are, but um, I like that. Yeah. So this was Juniper Java from Beach Giza. Yeah, that's good. I like you. Okay, next. Okay. Mother Nature's Naughty Daughters. <laughs> that's a name. This is 4162 stains. That is a name. Oh, I love that. Oh. I wonder how high they had to get to come up with some of these names. I love it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that was that was really sweet. It's super sweet. Holy crap. This smells like a designer fragrance. Like there's some sort of like like a like a designer women's fragrance where they do the whole thing with like the pink berries and the muskiness and stuff in the background. Also your nickname. You're, you're gonna get timed out. Your heart must have been popular. I'm sure she was. What am I smelling? It, so this this makes me think of um, this makes me think of like a juicy couture fragrance maybe because it's almost like it's almost like there's fruit with like a caramel kind of thing going on with it. Ugh, not my thing. I would have expected a fragrance called Mother Nature's Naughty Daughters to be like, like a a very skanky, musky, um, green scent. You know, maybe not. It's just my thing. Hello, everyone. Glad I caught you live. I gotta get myself ready for work. I'll have you in the background. Love y'all. I uh, love you too, Jad. You be careful. And if you're listening while you, you're driving, your hands better effing not be holding the phone. Do you understand, sir? Okay. Do you like the smell of your own farts, Eggie? You know, I don't know. Probably not. That's interesting. I don't eat eggs, though, unless they're in cake. Yeah, Mother Nature's Naughty Daughter is not for me. That's definitely one. If you like fragrances like Juicy Couture, those really sweet bleh, fragrances, then you can go on. Yeah, not my thing. Okay, next. Oh, two came out. Let's do just a yeah, we're stuck together. That's this one. Another kiss by the fireside. Okay. Pepe Le Pew. Da, da, da. Okay. Oh, and this one is another 4162 Tuesdays. Another kiss by the fireside. What are you sampling, Tara and Jonathan? What are you guys smelling? I guess Jonathan was smelling the... um. Muscaravajur, of course. Have you tried Dolce Amalfi? Yes. Ben, I, so I love the opening of Dolce Amalfi. Because um, it's it's like this beautiful lemon juice kind of with like literally like granulated sugar. Absolutely love it. The dry down's not my favorite just because it turns into like juicy fruit gum. But if that's your thing... That's awesome. Beautiful fragrance. The opening was amazing. I just didn't particularly love the dry down. Thank you, Jad. That's exactly the way I want to hear you talk to me. <laughs> They're fart doctor. <laughs> That's amazing. What am I smelling again? Oh, another kiss by the fireside. I put on zoologist squid and macaque. I like to put things on the cock. What? Um, yes, Amy, I do have a sample of a sample of Shazam. A sample of Shazam. I'll resmell it here in just a second. This smells so familiar. 
This is so. This is another kiss by the fireside or fireplace. Another kiss by something. What does that remind me of? This smells kind of fruity, rosy. Um, smoky, woody. Oh, it smells so familiar. I can't place it. I don't know. I'll come back to that. I, I, this is reminding me of something, and I cannot remember. Uh, Shazam! It's in it's in the stack here, Amy. Give me a second. Not that one. Shazam! Did I get any of it on this test strip just now? No idea. Yeah, for those of you who are just joining, I am smelling through like a giant thing of samples that I got from Crystal Fragrances. Um, she has a great collection of um, of indie and niche and such. So, and she has great prices and her shipping uber fast, like uber fast. So if you are wanting to find samples that are literally like spray samples for the price of the like, so you get like a two mil spray sample for like the price of the little 0.7 mil dabber thing from Lucky Scent. Um, yeah. So that's awesome. This is not sponsored. You know, she, I paid for all my samples and such, but I just wanted to let you guys know about her. If you did not know that it existed. Uh, I have not tried rock, but what intense. So, uh, Yara, uh, not Yara, Tara, how did you feel about squid and macaque? I love squid. Chris hates it. I love how it's resinous. I don't really think it reminds me too much of the sea unless I'm thinking of it's so heavy that it makes me kind of feel like I'm drowning. If that makes sense. Um, and then macaque, I like how bright and fresh it is. Um, and there's like that cement note, which is kind of weird in there. Ooh, Shazam is very resinous. A little bit of like a ginger, a ginger, I cannot speak English, a ginger zing. Yeah, very, very nice and happy. I would say it's similar to five o'clock ocean jambre from... Serge Luton's, um, ooh, is there Iris in this too? But I personally like, I think I like Shazam better, I think. For me anyways, just because it has a little bit more sweetness. I got the burps now. Okay, I'm missing stuff. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Thanks. Hope I like it. I hope so too, Ben. Keep a surprise. I'm seriously thinking to hunt down a bottle or partial. Oh, of Muscravageur? See, I just have the 10 mil decant and I got the fancy little um, holder thingy. Uh, travel, travel case. Those look really nice. They also make a 30 mil bottle. Um, wow, is this software or is, it, or is Hill just gorgeous? Oh, thanks, John. Brandon, reviews, Brandon reviewed my cock and loved it. That's awesome. That's great, Barry. It's the sentence of the day. Talking about macaque. I wouldn't even spray squid on my ass. Interesting. I'm wearing some squid and macaque. Saying the magic word and he appears. Oh, my things are jumping here. She likes how strong macaque is. Awesome. I'm really digging squid. So Tara and I are basically the same person. <laughs> She's just um, much skinnier and better with makeup. Um, uh... I'm a ninja like that, Barry. Oh my gosh. I agree, Hills. Which one? Are we talking about Shazam? I liked Shazam a lot. All this talk about roosters. <laughs> oh, hey, Chris. How are you doing, bud? Ban TikTok. Well, I don't really know much about Tiki Talkie. Um, I'm too old for that. Um, I don't know. It's not my not my thing. Um, marzipan. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get back to sniffing. Um, let's see what's next. Um, okay. So this one is Confetto by Profumum Roma. So I, I believe that most fragrances from Profumum Roma are probably gourmand or are they all in the gourmand realm? I guess maybe the, the Ombra Aria might could not be, but it seems like they make a lot of them that are. Confetto. Again, for those of you that are just tuning in, I don't know anything about any of these fragrances, so it's just smelling. BRB getting a beer. Grab one for me too, Jonathan. 
First time ever that the marzipan safe word worked. <laughs> This smells like suntan lotion. It's almost like if you made suntan lotion into whipped cream. That's so weird. Yeah, it's really, so it's really smelling like orange blossom, very, very sweet and uh, vanilla maybe, and very creamy. That one's not my thing. Let me see what's in it. Uh, what did I say this was called? Confetto. Confetto. Okay. Oh, they make 18 mil travel sprays of it for $83, but the 100 mil is 265 of this one too. Sugared almond, amber, musk, and a hint of anise. Well, I didn't get a single one of those notes. <laughs> I guess I could see almond. It really smells more like orange blossom, vanilla. Very creamy. Yeah, not really my thing. It's kind of making me think more coconut though than almond. It's really pulling a coconut suntanny kind of vibe. I don't know. That was Confetto by Profuma Roma. Um, it's beige, I'd say. <laughs> So many are beige. Oh, uh, are we talking about casual scents? Did he do a did he do an autumn list today? I need I haven't gotten to check out um, my list. I'll have to look that one up too. Atars. I have not smelled any atars yet. Beige more like. Don't know what that means. Okay, I like it again. Oh, berry. Okay, hold on. I uh bought my kid these Kool-Aids. Um, they're called, they're like Kool-Aid Goolade, but it's scary berry flavored. <laughs> yeah. So there you go, berry. All right. Creamy vanilla crumble. Have I already sprayed on this? No. Okay. So this is creamy vanilla, or yeah, creamy vanilla crumble. Now I have somewhere, I have rhubarb and custard 129. And that fragrance is one part rhubarb and citrus cologne and 29 parts creamy vanilla custard. So I'm assuming this will smell similar to that one without the zesty rhubarb and such. Oh yeah, Chris did get his, uh, his fancy computer set up. Very nice, very nice. Oh, that is sweet. Um, it is very, very sweet. <laughs> it's like vanilla and biscuits and almond or heliotrope. It's pulling a kind of cherry kind of vibe in here too. Very sweet, but pretty. Um, I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. It's just a very, very like rich vanilla kind of cherry vibe um, with a little bit of biscuit underneath. So yeah, not bad. Too sweet for me, probably not interesting, not interesting enough. I'm glad I have the, um, I'm glad I have the one with the rhubarb mixed into it. What am I missing? Uh, okay, beer in hand, cheers, continue. <laughs> hey, Duncan. Some beautiful people. Okay. We were just sitting here in silence awaiting your return. Yeah. Glad you're back. It was awkward. Yeah. I haven't smelled anything. I don't know what anyone's talking about. I've got a gin and tonic. I've got a nothing. A whole lot of nothing, guys. Okay. This one is called Truth, Beauty, Freedom, and Love by 4160 Tuesdays. Truth, Beauty, Freedom, Love. Okay. Flatty. I wanted him to like respond with Betty. <laughs> okay. Truth, beauty, freedom, love. Let's get this sprayed. I think I missed the paper. No, I got it. <clears throat> I 
Why does it smell like Kool-Aid powder? <laughs> oh, I like Sahara for how much. It's really, really nice and clean and unique. If you've ever like sniffed a pixie stick, that's what this smells like. How it compares to truth, beauty, freedom, love, it is your freedom to sniff pixie sticks, I guess. <laughs> It's really just like granulated sugar and fruity sweetness. I like it. I don't know that I'd buy a bottle. But it's nice. Amina's here. Hey, girl, hey. Just water. <laughs> okay, next. Oh, so we are sniffing samples from mostly 4160 Tuesdays, but these are all samples that um, I had ordered from Crystal Fragrances, and so most of them are blind. My mask flew off my rear view mirror. Now I need to reassess my situation. That, I don't know what that means. Okay. That one is really, really good, Chris. I really have been enjoying that one. Kentucky or bust. Hey, Ronnie. I had to stop kids from sniffing pixie sticks on more than one occasion. <laughs> I was probably one of those kids. Um, uh, we're amongst friends, so I feel like I can admit I've been binge watching your videos. <laughs> yeah, but your, uh, Jonathan, your poor um, image looks really scary. You might scare her away. If you've already sniffed macaque. You can't be sniffing pixie sticks, too. Is that a code? Truth, beauty, for TV film. The that is... That is very, that's too difficult for me, Colin. Put that kind of stuff away. I can't think that's too much. <laughs> My brain can't do that. Okay. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Amina. Hi, Barry. Hey, Tara. Amina's great. Very binge worthy. Tara boo, indeed, to the water. Okay, I'm going to smell stuff. This is Basame Mucho from Phoebe Peacock Parfums. Yeah, yeah, it's a little crazy there. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, it was a horse race day in Kentucky. So, yeah. Chocolate covered pretzels, holy ball sack. That is really good. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's good. That is salted, like a salted pretzel coated in fresh chocolate. Yep, that's good. Oh my gosh, what, what were you called again? Besame mucho. Does that mean kiss me a lot? Besame? Yeah, by Phoebe Peacock Parfums. Y'all, that's good. I know I was just talking about, you know, chocolate scents and being a little bit, um, what's that word I used a little bit earlier that made sense? Um, it doesn't matter. That's really good, besame mucho. <laughs> Sorry, Barry. I'm not very good with um with working on my uh, vocabulary. I like the use of wide palette for fragrance. Did anyone have a mint julep today? No, I did. However, have Saint Julep today. I chat more, but I'm trying to imagine Yara and I watching a very gruesome horror movie, and she is scared. Good talk, Duncan. Oh, I mean, if you insist, Tara. Hey, Taffy. Hey, Taffy. Look, what came in the mail today from our friend. Thank you for um, getting me in contact with her. I like mint. I do, too. Nothing scares me, baddie. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, Chris just, Chris had a uh, mint julep hold the mint. Um I'm just, oh, I thought she, I thought you said I'm obsessed with Jonathan. I was like, that's so sweet, Amina. <laughs> okay. Rich, if you don't have Salvador to leave, for the love of God, get it? Okay. All right. Basame Mucho. Amazing. So good. I want that one. How many monies is it? Okay. Next. Okay. This fragrance is called 
the extra sexiest scent on the planet ever, in my honest opinion. So we'll see if it is. Oh, my nose is tingling. <laughs> I've had it for years, John, mate. I don't know what accent that was supposed to be. Black extra small? Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you mean excess. <laughs> it was funny to read it as extra small. I don't know that I've ever fit into extra small. Okay. The extra sexiest scent on the planet ever, in my honest opinion. What a fragrance name. This is by 4162 Stays, by the way. I'm pretty sure they also have just a normal like the sexiest scent on the planet but this one's the extra so iris again she does so much with iris and lemons oh but i like the lemons this is beautiful how many iris and lemon fragrances does she have? <laughs> I think we're up to like four here since I've been sniffer ruin. But um, oh, this one's good. Creamy and bless you, dimples. I really, really like this. Vanilla, um, vanilla, lemon, and iris. The main things that, the main things I'm getting right now. But I love that. That is so good. Is there sandalwood in there? Hold on. First off, I've got to grab the right stick. I'm not smelling any sandalwood off the paper, but it could be on skin. Um, the lemon is really clean. You know, like all of your citrus notes are usually like super amplified. I don't know what that sound was. Yeah, all of like citrus notes are usually super amplified on paper. So it's kind of hard for me to tell, but it's beautiful. Have I smelled any Henley perfume? Yes, I have. Um, I own Bourbon by Henley. Absolutely love it. So good. I liked Moan. Um, Rosenthal was good, but I can't really remember it. Obviously, I didn't buy it. My dogs are just taking over the house right now. Um, I can't remember if I've smelled any others, but bourbon is amazing. That's my favorite, which seems like it must not be the sexiest if this is the extra. It's, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Taff, taff, taffy. Uh, Sniffer ruin. That is the scientific term. Yes, it is indeed. Um, da, 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 da. Very scientific. Yep. That's what everybody says. I love fume. Your own fumes or what? Next. Um, let's see. This one is Aqua a Zucchero. Z Zucchero. Zuc it has a lot. It looks like zucchini, but with arrow on the end instead of zucchini. Um, from Perfume Aroma. Aqua e zucchero. You like to moan too? That's neat. Um, sad bloodline is yeah. You know, so there is actually an indie niche um, store in Kentucky that I really, really, really want to go to. So Tara, we're going to have like a girl date and we're going to go smell everything there um, whenever we can go places and stuff. So you don't know that yet, but I'm going to kidnap you. We're going to go smell some stuff. Was it bourbon? Uh, um, I think it's the extrait or Eau de Parfum, whichever one is the original because the Eau de Cologne came out after the one that I have. Yeah. I haven't smelled that one. Um, oh, was she talking about a perfume? I don't know. I don't know. Sugar water, that means. Thank you. Pink sugar on steroids. Are you talking about this? You know, I've never smelled pink sugar. Um, I don't even know where you smell that stuff. Um, I've smelled bloodline. Yes, American perfumer. Yeah, that's near me. Yep, I'm going with you. You had better. And then we can get food. I love lunch. Um, Amy, I'm in Lexington. It took 17 years, but what are we talking about? It's been 84 years. <laughs> Sweet. You're going to kidnap me just like in my dreams. Oh. Okay. What are, what do I spray? Oh, uh, yeah, the aqua zucchero. Wow, that is sweet. 
Holy crap, that's sweet. Sugar. <laughs> it's a lot of sugar. There are pink berries in here too, like um like raspberry or something. You know, like when you make uh the stuff to go on the hummingbird feeder? It smells kinda like that. It was like a little bit of like vanilla or benzoin kind of heft to it. It is really pretty. This is definitely something that I would say would be more suitable for like a younger woman. I mean, anybody can wear it, guy, girl, whatever. But when I smell this, I think of like a younger woman in like pink. Okay, next. Um, Tara, would you sniff my cock and moan? Okay, first off, that's really funny. <laughs> Sugar me, daddy. First off, I'm mommy. So I love food too. Yes. <laughs> Okay, next. Oh, this is called Cherry on Top by Rirana Perfumes. Or just per Parfum. Parfum. Sorry. Cherry on Top. Rirana Parfum. Not that I can read anything. Muse. Kidnap. What happened to Rescue Me Away? 2020. This is a time of horror. Sorry, Dad. You'll get over it. You better not be driving and texting me right now, sir. Food, food, food. Okay, this is cherry on top, sorry. I'm breathing in so much. Well, smells like cherry. And whipped cream. This isn't my favorite um, Cormandy one I've smelled today, which is weird because I love cherry and fragrances. This is just that oversweet cherry where it's almost like, instead of being like that juicy, bright cherry that's in like um, Lost Cherry, this is more of like the cherry that's made um, like with the almond note, like in Heliotrope, where it's almost like a florally kind of cherry nuance with a way too sweet um, whipped cream. Maybe this would smell better on skin, but I just don't think it's right. It's not something that I would want to wear. It's just too sweet and not interesting enough. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, what am I missing? Oh, thank you, Muse. That's so sweet. Uh, parfum. <laughs> Did I do it? <laughs> hey, mommy. I don't know my, I can't do accents for save my life. I hear the Nana's and coconut one. I've heard about that one. I haven't tried that one though. Promise I'm not. Okay, Jad, I believe you. I like a sharp cherry. I do too, Barry. All right, but yeah, artificial. I want to be informed before I try the cherries. Okay. So there will be, uh, yes, I will be doing an updated fall scents list. And I'm also going to do an orchard list um, because my favorite thing in the world is to go to orchards because um, I am like the epitome of a basic bitch, Amy. Like I, I love pumpkin spice. I have a giant bag of pumpkin spice Starbucks coffee sitting on my counter that I really should have made before I started this stream. Um, and I love apple cider and I like pumpkin picking and apple picking and all that kind of stupid stuff. So um, I'm going to do a list of fragrances to wear to the orchard as well as a fall list. And then Chris is probably, I'm going to assume, going to take over my channel and do a fall list as well. Um, yeah, most likely. Didn't find cherry on Yeah, I, it just didn't have anything special, Donjolo. Um, Marino, Mary, Mary. Maraschino cherry. Maraschino cherry with a lime kicker always smells good. Coconut nanas is good. I have heard that. I can't remember who I heard talking about that fragrance. Who was that? I don't remember. Um, okay. Yas! Orchard incense, yes. Maraschino. Yara, you shut your mouth. I recently realized I don't like cherry scents. Maybe I just haven't found the right one. Did you like Lost Cherry, Amina? Or have you smelled that one? Um, I liked that one. I like Rouge Smoking. Um, and I also really like Don's Paris from Celine. But um, the 
oh, my brain just totally shut down. But Dawn's Prairie doesn't necessarily say that it has cherry in it, but it it has a note of, it's like laurel flower or something. And it really smells like heliotrope, which of course lends that cherry vibe. So it's, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. <clears throat> Just choked on my own spit. Pumpkin pie at TJ's with coffee. Mm. <clears throat> scrolly, scrolly. What did I miss? Is it? Can I dive off? No idea. Shout outs to the Jadster. Kajal Parfums is here. Our perfumes is here. Sweet. Hey. I did a stream not too long ago smelling through the Kajal fragrances that I got sent by y'all. Peacefully, but nothing is as good as me, the king. Yeah, sorry, Mr. Aventus. Aventus. <laughs> My bad. Uh, Big Beard Business. It probably was Big Beard. You know, I haven't watched many Big Beard Business reviews recently, like not since he moved to um, to Tennessee, right? I love him. I like how he fucks the box. Or that did not come out right. Never mind. I did talk to him. I don't think I'm familiar with her, Tara. Can you link me her channel later? Because I am not familiar um, with that channel. I mean, I didn't like last year. Oh, she didn't. Ooh. Everyone bows down to the king. Except the queen. She doesn't need to do that. She hurt my soul. <laughs> Pumpkin spice sounds like what the fairy godmother that works at Halloween shift uses. You know, that's what I want to be when I grow up, Jed. That's that's who I want to be when I grow up for sure. I thought it was meh. Rouge smoking too. Yeah, Rouge smoking is quite sweet. I, th I think it's really pleasant. Um, hi, Creative Ventus. Glad you could make it. <laughs> yeah. When are you coming out with your own line? Um, not. I re actually really wanted to go to perfumery school, but um, you know, I kind of run a grooming business, and that's not really like something I have time for. Um, I asked about cherry on top of coconut. Okay, don't know. Dave. Which one was Dave? Did I miss Dave? Is DB70 here? Dancing Roses was an O for me. Dancing Roses. I don't think I know that fragrance. What's that powerhouse frag that has the cherry cola vibe? It's a powerhouse. Are you referring to Creation E? Um, I'm not sure. <clears throat> it, smell, it hurts me. I don't know that fragrance as I do. <laughs> That's great. Miss that stream of the Yes, definitely go check it out, Kajal. I need to smell through them again. Because um, I really want a bottle, and I was narrowing it down to like four. <laughs> which is not a good way to narrow it down. <laughs> Okay, why is the comments coming so fast? I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, let's see. If you want a peppery shower gel vibe, then I have some great suggestions for you. Can we not suggest Sauvage? If you want pineapple and... Okay. Awesome. Uh, I don't like black pepper vibe. <laughs> I love you, Yara. <laughs> She is feisty today. I don't know what, I don't know who pissed in her cereal, but I'm so glad they did. Okay. All right. Let's smell some more things. I still have a few left in this thing from um, Crystal Fragrances, and I have plenty of other things on my countertop here. This one is White Queen by 4160 Tuesdays. Now, I believe this is part of their um, Alice in Wonderland collection, because I think they did like White Queen, White Queen. White queen. And is there a dark queen, maybe? What else do I have here? Um, I don't know. I'm not seeing another queen in here, but I'm pretty sure they have other queens. Uh, Jackie, JLW. I don't know if she, I don't think I've seen her in the chat. She sent me some samples not too long ago, and I'm pretty sure she included um, white queen and some of the other queens. This is very creamy and extra sweet. I want to say like peach or something. There's some sort of weird fruit in here. But it comes off a little bit um, 
a little bit like a cleaner, like it's just a little bit synthetic. That's kind of why I'm guessing peach, I guess. Again, this is something that I could see a younger woman perhaps wearing. It's pretty inoffensive. Um, but again, not really my thing. Also need something to chill you out, Yara. Oh dear. Uh, oh, Red Queen, okay. This one also has that um, whipped creamy kind of vibe in it. It's like, there's some sort of like white floral, I feel like that in here too. Like a white, white floral, like whipped cream and some sort of peachy or fruity vibe. Okay, next. Okay, this is called Freud by Sv Svensk Parfum. That, is that like Swedish perhaps? Freud, Spence Parfum. I'm not familiar with this house or fragrance or, well, any of it. Can blow out a room potent juice. Interesting. I need to find those other, because I've smelled the different queen fragrances before from the ones that Jackie sent. And I remember really liking dark queen or black queen or something and then red queen was i and white queen is not my thing but i liked the dark one whatever it was called oh this is very sweet and resinous and um tobacco this is like cherry tobacco Kind of makes me think of Herod without being as thick. Now, this is a very cherry tobacco, almost like, I don't want to say like cherry cough syrup because that sounds bad when you say it that way, but it has like the same, has a very similar scent profile to cherry cough syrup. Yeah, I think it might be cherry tobacco. I'll look it up. I'd screw my own mother for a sniff of that Freud. That's awkward. It's like fjord, but spelled wrong. It is. It's like it's like fjord, but all messed up. Uh, what did I say it was called? Fro Frojd. Freud. Svensk. Parfum. Okay. Um, cherry. Ambergris. What are you? Is it musk? Musk and woody notes and vetiver. <clears throat> so maybe the smokiness that I thought I was getting was from vetiver rather than tobacco. It really doesn't smell like vetiver though. Oh, it's nice. Um, Amina wouldn't like it. <laughs> okay, let's see where we are here. Um, I'm going to see how successful I can be in communicating through one of the word response in communicating through use of one word responses that are not cheesy. Okay. That sounds like an interesting experiment, Ashkan. A very cheap, come in square bottles, silver cap, all square. Are you referring to the, to the Svensk parfums, uh, Duncan? Bruh. <laughs> I'd like to see you and Chris do a sit my dog video. Oh, that is a really funny idea. That's a really, hey, Chris, are you still watching? Write that down in your brain because I will forget because that's a good idea. Sultana, I need help. Okay. Uh, shoot. <laughs> okay. I have one that smells like Dime Tap, the cough medicine. Oh, okay. If you're looking for a more masculine coconut pineapple scent, check out Coco Moon. I've heard that Coco Moon is really good. I enjoyed Juniper Java a minute ago when I smelled that. That was really interesting by the, from the same house. Um, uh, no much. I I don't know anything about the Chanel Exclusive. You're doing great so far. <laughs> uh, okay. Sent my dog. Yas. <laughs> yes. Write that one down, Chris. He's, you know, he's my uh, 
my secretary he just doesn't know it <laughs> sit in your cat but really don't yeah don't don't put it on the kitty but that could have gone really dirty <laughs> okay this next one is captured by candlelight from 4160 tuesdays respect spray <laughs> I wanted to try the new one from Beach Keys. It's called Bay Rum. Ooh. I haven't heard anything about that one. I'll have to look it up. This one smells like honey. What is this? Captured by candlelight. Okay. Oh, that's sweet. Honey, sweet, and resinous again. Oh, it reminds me of something else. Do I have something that smells like this? Um, it's kind of reminded me of bass solo, which is you know, like really woody, resinous. I think there's myrrh in here. There's there's this definitely smells like myrrh. Oh, which is so good. This is really nice. This one was captured by candlelight. Where'd you go? Yeah. Yeah, captured by candlelight from 4162 Tuesdays. This would be a great orcharding fragrance. Very sweet and rich. Or good for Christmas Eve, like when you go to like your candlelight services and stuff. Hmm, that one's pretty good. Um, interesting. Good question. Um, Gasp, I won't spray anything on her, but I need more time with her to see what kind of energy she's giving me, you know. <laughs> Tried, he's not sure. We've all these out. Oh. Base solo. Yeah, um, Muse, have you have you smelled base solo from Vagabond Prince? It's a fragrance that's um, it's fully centered around all like a use of all bass notes. So there's like no, you know, volatile notes at all in it really. Um, and it's our, did I say it? Yeah, bass oil. And also it's uh, based around winge wood, which is like the wood that's used in like making of instruments and such. And it kind of has this um, smell of the, um, like the lacquer kind of stuff that you um, put on your bows and stuff. It's really beautiful, sweet and rich fragrance. I love it. Um, prices, uh, prices for, for base solo, um, 180, I believe is all of the fragrances from Vagabond Prince are 180. Although I got all of mine for a hundred during their big sale that they had. Love it. Tried Yasmina today. Uh, I didn't resmell it today, but I do have it sitting over here and I could resmell it. Can I get through? I have four. Fragrances left, and I'll re-smell through my Kajals if you want to. Myrrh, yeah. I tried Yasmina today. I think it's really beautiful. So I know I'm burning a candle called Marshmallows by the Fire. So good. I love marshmallows. It's marshmallows. Hey, Sybil. Did you know Rich Mitch is your number one hype man? I have never heard anyone say the word Kajal in a sentence more than I've heard it from Rich Mitch. It is insane. Um, yeah. He's trying to force Kevin to buy some and Kevin's like, I'm not buying this um, just because he wants to be combative. Yasmina, what's that one? It is a Kajal one. Uh, Amina. Base solo. Yes, it's very, very good. It's, it's so rich. Well, I like Yasmina. Um, about those, about those Kajal caps. <laughs> They got caps on lock, mate. They do. Okay, let me finish these last four and then I'll switch to Gajal fragrances. <laughs> That's true. He wants to um, He wants to have a whole collection like throwing stars. What are those called? Shurikens? Um, what Kajals would you suggest? I want to try some. Um, Kajal Port Om is really nice. And I'll smell through these and stuff in a second. That sounds delicious. That's true. Yasmina is fantastic. Yeah, and Yasmina almost has Amina in it. How cool is that? 
that's probably less cool um, coming out of my mouth than it was in my head. New York 55 by 4162 stays. This smells like cotton out of the washing machine that had too much uh, detergent put on it. <laughs> that's, that's great. Uh, have you caught their podcast? I haven't caught their podcast. I didn't know they did that. Um, but American Perfumer is in my state, and I really want to go visit. So, um, yeah, Tara and I are going to have a lady date and go smell stuff. What am I smelling? It's a very, like, aldehydic and powdery. Little play doh I want to say there's iris in here, but um, what am I smelling again? Uh, New York 55. It's like powdery, clean, and floral. I don't think I'd wear this. This definitely is more suited for a laundry detergent than for um, a fragrance for me. Um, gotta get some samples. Yes, do get some samples. They are, that's the thing, is I'm gonna be spraying them on paper and that's not a good way to test them because they're very complex. We sure are. Gonna be the best day of my life. <laughs> Lady date Yara, if you would get your ass over to the United States, you could also have a lady date with moi. I want to be on a lady date too. Amina, where do you live? Do you live nearby? Come, be a third wheel. It's fine. I'm very inclusive. I bought work and I want Solage. I think there's another I want too. Cotton candy. Is that what that is? Is cotton candy? I don't eat that. <laughs> okay. Haven't spread anything on this one. Oh, this is just the normal sexy scent on the planet, uh, Tara. Are you gonna spray, perhaps, maybe? I really liked the extra sexiest scent on the planet. Oh, that one's much more lemony. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need you for that, Aventus. I'm just fine on my own, thanks. This very quickly went from like super zesty lemony to much more irisy and sweet. They smell very similar though. I just, I, maybe I didn't, I need to smell them back to back. But this one's really beautiful too. Maybe, maybe the extra sexiest had longer longevity, maybe. Um, I feel like both of these are a safe option. They're beautiful fragrances. I'll have to try those together and uh, see which one I like best, because I'm definitely gonna get one of those. You're in Texas. It's a little bit of a haul, but you know, hop on a plane. There is a, there's an airport in Louisville, and um, yeah, we'll just pick you up and we'll go fragrant shopping and then put you back on the plane. But we'll get food. We'll get food a few times before that, because I can't let a girl go hungry. We got, we gotta eat, okay? <laughs> Spray. This is Be Careful What You Wish For by 4162 Tuesdays. So the second sexiest scent on the planet. Yes. Oh, I can taste this. <laughs> um, Yara's on the list, Interpol. Rich, get your ass out of bed, and me and you will go drink and throw axes for a guy day. <laughs> when are we going to go throw axes, Chris? Or when, when Tara comes down, probably. Yara, do you want to throw axes? I want to throw axes, Chris. Taffy, come on. You're not too far. Sup? Chris, go throw axes in caps. Oh, this is good. What did I spray? Anybody remember? Oh, this is really good. Um, Literally have no idea what I sprayed just now. Be careful what you wish for. This is sweet, um, but also tart. Like there's um, like there's some sort of like citrusy, fruity tartness in here. And also sweet, almost like icing. What is that? And it's kind of musky too, it's very musky. Amina did a review on Acro Awake. Stuff is so good. I love Acro Awake so much. Um, you can pick me up on the way down. Yep. 
Now much price is 200, not bad at all. If you go X though, you need to watch out for X wounds. True. Yep, that is accurate, yep. This is so good. I'm gonna look up notes for this really quick. Be careful what you wish for. Careful what you wish for. Ood? Really? Are you sure? Okay, when I said it was fruity, it's literally all fruit. Like, it's like a, this is a fruit salad. There's plum, black currant, strawberry, raspberry, peach, orange, grapefruit. There's juniper berry. Is that a wrap? They change the pictures again. What is that? White oud. Why does it look like a rat? Vanilla, guacwood, and patchouli. This is a fruit salad, but oh, it's so creamy though and musky. There's no musk listed. Well, I really like this one. That's really nice. Okay. Acroic is amazing. Yes, Chris wears it like every other day. So it's usually more of a surprise when he's not wearing that in the van. Not terrible considering the quality I'm hearing about. Okay. Axe wounds come in all shapes and sizes. What should I wear for axe throwing? Nothing. I mean, um, some pants and perhaps a t-shirt. You know, somebody said plum. I did say plum. I did. I did indeed say plum. Yeah. When, when you like know what all of the fruits are that's in it, you can like sit there and pick out each individual one. But when you're just smelling fruit salad, it's just, you know, it's like, well, fruit salad, no idea what I'm smelling here. Um, we'll all wear a Ventus. I don't own a Ventus. <laughs> They're like boobs. Even the small ones are fun to play with. That's true. Ladies like Solage. Big men. Uh, yeah. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> What's the worst axe wound you've ever seen? Uh, nothing. Worst wounds. Okay. All right. I had one, one 4162 Tuesday fragrance left, and then I'll smell these uh, kajals again. So this one is Oh My Soul. So I'm pretty sure there's a fragrance group called Oh My Soul, and I think that they had Sarah McCartney make a fragrance for their group. I don't like to talk about it, bro. What did I miss? This is spicy, like um, like ginger and kind of like a chai tea, um, without any creaminess. Like um, like it's not like full bodied, like a chai latte. This is more like um, perhaps like there's a black tea and like nutmeg. Um, ginger. Some sort of nice wood in the background, but I can't really tell what kind. This is really nice. This is very unisex. Like I could totally see, um, yeah. This could easily be somebody's signature scent, I think. I keep missing my nose. No, I smell it up here, it'll work. Um, yeah, it's really nice. I don't think that this is very super interesting. Um, like I said, it could be a signature scent. I don't. I don't think I'd go out of my way to buy this one. It's nice and um, wouldn't upset anybody, but not exactly my thing. Okay, it's exactly right. Hello, Christy Long and Sarah Clapped. Oh, okay, cool. Alrighty, I'm gonna go back through my Kajal fragrances. It has been quite a while since I've smelled through all of these. Okay, let me we'll do the big one first because there's just one fragrance in here, I think. Okay, what are you? Can you guys hear me with like this stuff sitting in front of it? Because I'm not really sure what the microphone is on this. Okay, so this fragrance is uh, Fida. And this is a really cute set. This is um this is like comes with a coaster and um and then the sample. It's a fancy little coaster if I've ever seen one. You could kill somebody with this. Like this is a, a, a throwing star for a uh, Rich Mitch. Faux oh, show.
This smells floral and very earthy at the same time. Kind of like there's some iris and some greenness in the background. This is really pretty. This is um, almost creamy. Maybe I should spray these on skin. Do I have, where, do, where have I sprayed things? A messy axe wound can kill the mood. That's true. Okay, thank you, Angela. Bring that to the axe throwing. Oh, oh, bring the, yeah, we'll do. I'll bring my coaster. And it'll hold my beer. This is really pretty. It kind of smells vanillic, um, powdery, and creamy. This is kind of like what I would uh, um, expect to smell on like a mom. Like, you know, like like as me a mom, like a, not not saying that it's necessarily somebody that's older. It just smells like um like a responsible woman, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like somebody that um that you knew that could take care of you or something. Somebody very motherly. Oh, I really like this. It must be the Starnies. Yeah, maybe. This is beautiful. I'm gonna pull up the notes to this one. What did I say this was called? Fida. Tobacco? Okay, yeah, that'll do it. I really thought I was smelling um, iris. Oh, it does say that there's um, flowers in general. Yeah, this is a really cool bottle. So the, like the Kajal Pour Om, um, those, like that also comes in the same taller bottle. Um, but I think the color is different. I think it's like bronze in the plating, I think. This is so pretty. And it has a, it has kind of a suede nuance to it. Whereas I thought it was like kind of earthy, like dirt before. It's much, it's more suede now that it's drying down on paper. Very pretty. I like that one. That one's good. Okay. So that one may be one that I get, unless I get one of these. <laughs> okay. So it looks like I have the four fragrances from the uh, word, word collection. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. I'm so sorry that I'm bad with words. Just because y'all have a sample set. They have a couple sample sets, Jonathan. Um, yeah. No, it's called Fida, F-I-D-D-A-H. Here, I'll type it in here. Yeah, it, um, according to Fragranica, it has notes of tobacco, mixed fruits. Uh, is that leather? Leather, um, anise, tonka, vanilla, flowers, amber, bergamot, and musk. It definitely comes off very musky and powdery, but... It's really beautiful. It has a beautiful fragrance. Okay. So this one is called Jihan. Okay. This is J-I-H-A-N. Trying to get it to spray. Hey. Oh. This is very floral. Very fruity and sweet. And oody. There be oud. <laughs> warde. Warde. Ward okay. Yeah, this is very like fruity, floral, and oody. And a good amount of vanilla in here, too. That is strong. Wow. Is there, there's some sort of spice in here too. I can't tell what it is, but it's like, so you have the oud that's like balancing with the fruity floral and stuff. And then you have this spice that's kind of holding it all together that makes that harsh undertone and the florally um, top kind of mix. I love star anise and tobacco. The fetus sounds good. It's, it is really, really nice. That one is, um, I, I prefer... Fida over Jihan so far. Do you work for the company or own it? It might be Rich Mitch's other, <laughs> might be Rich Mitch's second thing and he's conversing with himself. Would anyone doubt it? 
yeah, that one's really nice. I do still like Fida better, I think. Okay, this one is just called, uh, oh, this one is Yasmina. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's gonna smell like Jasmine. <laughs> owner which one is this oh oh i just finished smelling jihan j-i-h-a-n and this one now is yasmina what was the name of the one i liked solage i think it's solage chris oh this is boozy what This is like boozy and leathery and floral, like white floral and boozy and leathery. That's really interesting. And some other kind of fruit in there too. Does Kajal ship to New Zealand? I don't know. This one's really interesting. So, so far, I like Fida the best, Yasmina second, and Jihan third. Oh, that is really good. Hmm. Okay. Next is, oh, this is Solage, Chris, um, the one that you thought you liked. Okay. So I don't know if this one is part of the, is, is it part of the warden collection? It looks like I'm moving to Kentucky soon. <laughs> oh, there, there are whiskey notes in it, Yasmin. Okay, well, that makes sense then. Because it definitely smelled boozy and leathery and totally juxtaposed with that, like, white florally um, nuance, too. We shipped once to New Zealand and it never arrived. If you put booze in a fragrance, the probability of me liking it increased by 200%. If you put booze in anything, never mind. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. This one smells irisy. Maybe I smell too much freaking iris today. <laughs> And leathery. This one smells very leathery, but also sweet and floral. I like this one. Let me put it on skin. Okay. It's about time you are. It really is about time for sure. Okay, this one smells boozy too once you put it on skin. This one is boozy and leathery as well, but has some very earthy nuances too. It smells completely different than I did on paper. Like on paper, I smelled a lot more of like, um, I don't know, like, um, like more of a resinous tone, like maybe benzoin or something along those lines. But on skin, it's like mostly boozy and leathery and some sort of floral. But really good. That one's really nice. I see that one um, being like worn by like a tomboy or like um, a guy that likes leather scents but wants something that's different that not everybody else wears. I hear ladies love Creed Aventus Rich, do they? Which ones do the men like on ladies? Do the men's? <laughs> Have you got Warwick? Uh, um, no, I have, I just have two left. I have Warday and Jury. So Lodge is my favorite of the bunch. Gotcha. I should have smelled these at the beginning since they're so much more complex. And I've smelled probably 30 fragrances so far this evening. Ooh. Air out a little bit. <laughs> Hi, Eugene. This one is foresty. <laughs> this one smells like a pine tree. 
Oh, that smells really good. Chris, you need to re-smell this one, the one that's called Warda or Warde. This one is very, very green, very pine tree, kind of sappy. A little bit of sweetness. But I can't tell what from. And some sort of like spicy nuance. Like it's kind of making my nose tingle like pepper or something, but I'm not sure what the spicy is. Yeah, this smells like this smells like a spicy pine tree. I like that. I like that one a lot. Oh fuck. Well, that's a very personal question, and it really is not any of your business, Cudimentus. It's all about the booze. <laughs> it's always about the booze, I'm pretty sure. I just break for a second. Come here, lover boy from other dudes. Interesting. Warda has absinthe in the top notes. Well, that's interesting. I like that this one is, um, it's very foresty and earthy and also fresh. I feel like you could get away with wearing this one all year round. I really like this one. Okay, so do I like this one better than Fida? I might like this one better than Fida. I don't know. Fida and Warda are my favorites so far. Okay. And then what was the other one I liked? And then Solage. Okay, and then this one is Jewelry. Yes, Pine. Good. I got one note. <laughs> That's one of the hardest things is that these are so well blended. And there's a lot going on up in here. So I am really enjoying these. Do these all have the same perfumer? Or do they all have different perfumers? Or are you the perfumer? Or what's the hippity hops? Oh, is this, this smells like rose and anise. This is um very mentholated smelling. Oh, this is happy. This is very floral, more than just rose. Like yellow florals, hold on. Okay, so there's definitely ylang ylang in here. Oh, this is good. Okay, let me, let me find the notes to this one. This one is jewelry. Let's see. Let's see if I can spell it too. I just read it. G-J-O-O. -O. Let's see. There's no anise listed, darn it. Nutmeg, tonka, clove, ginger, pepper, vanilla, ylang ylang. Yes, no rose. Oh wait, no, there is rose. I'm sorry. They put the they changed the color of the rose on fragranica. That's so rude. And orange blossom. This one is really good. So, uh, most of you guys know one of my favorite fragrances is Gold Night by Killian. And that one is um, is like a white honey and, um, and anise. This, um, although I guess it's not anise, this one is um, has that same honey. So good. But there's a lot more going on here than is in the Killian. This is... Oh, I love the florals that are in here. This is so unique. Just a French perfumer working for Drome. Some are done by Rosinda Mateau. And, oh, Chris Carbonell. Chris Carbonell is the Jerja Fellow, for those of you who don't know. Honey is the main ingredient. Awesome. This one is so good. Okay. So, Jewelry, and then Fida and Warda, and then the rest of them are kind of all after that. This one is so good. I'm going to put this one on skin, too, to see how it is. Okay. Yeah, the bottles for these are really nice. Did I show you the bottle for jewelry? Fancy. Oh, it even looks like rose. Like a rose on top. The more frustrated Hills gets, the more the country shows. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> it's really frustrating trying to pick out notes in something that's well blended. Okay. Just smells like yummy. And then you're like, great. <laughs> Let me just try to tear this apart for a minute. You guys mentioned Henley bourbon. I just had to order a travel spray. I want to apologize for that, but I also don't want to. However, tarantula, tarant, tarantula, tar um, do maybe let it sit for a while after it comes in because when I first got it, it was very harsh when it first arrived. But after that, it is beautiful. It's like this beautiful brown sugar, syrupy, woody, yummy. Yeah. Okay, on skin, jury is even better. Like honey sweet, kind of mentholated with the rose and ylang ylang in the background or ylang ylang, but I can't say that very well. <laughs> that is so good. Yeah. Okay, great. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go sell my body on the street corner <laughs> and get a few more bottles. Those are good. Whew. I like that one a lot. I kind of want to compare it to Gold Knight. Right here. My precious. Okay, so on skin, Gold Knight is way more sweet. Um, the honey is like super amped up, but I think I like jewelry better than Gold Knight. What? That is really good. But Gold Knight is a really good sleeping fragrance. So <laughs> we'll keep that for sleeping. But this is so good. All right. Take a cold shower. He can't take a cold shower. He's on his way to work. Did you get the eau de I haven't smelled the eau de cologne either. I've only smelled the, the one that I have. Mijuri. Is that the one you like, Rich? Or what's your favorite one? I liked all of them. I didn't dislike any of them. I think maybe the one that I liked the least out of these six that I smelled was Jihan. Just because it's like the super, super sweet with the oud, and that's not really my favorite thing. Yasmina was good. Also really sweet with like the leathery kind of stuff. Solage is good. Oh yeah, Ward, Ward is great. And then Jury's really, really good. Getting dressed, still not driving. Drop that link for a nice Bay Area sunset. Okay, Flatty. Let me figure out how to do that. Invite. Copy to clipboard. Copied, okay. Feast. There you go, Duncan. Warwick is my favorite, followed by Solage. Okay, I don't, I haven't smelled Warwick or Allogene. Do the bottles come in? I think I only saw them in one size, but that might have changed. I won't show my mug. Okay. Hey, Duncan. What's up? Sorry, I, I wasn't supposed to show my mug. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. It is beautiful. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, he works uh, on the docks in the Bay Area. Beautiful. That's gorgeous, Duncan. I'll, I'll, I'll turn no, the volume on. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, give me a minute, Sally. I'll try to do the bottles. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just missed, um, I work with uh, Maya and Sally. And I just called Maya, Sally, and Sally Maya. <laughs> <laughs> He'll figure it out, I'm sure. What's Duncan wearing? I think he, I think he was wearing a, a safety vest. 
Bottles? Okay. Jury's good, guys. It's really, really good. If you like fragrances that are like, that have that mentholated nuance with like sweetness to you, that's really good. And that's so pretty, Duncan. It's really nice. Perfume. Uh, yeah, Eugene. Oh, oh, you were asking about what Duncan's wearing perfume wise. Duncan, what are you wearing? Are you wearing Rocco Barocco? Roca Coco? What are you wearing? You're muted. I wore uh, Na Naxos today. Okay. And then I wore uh, a really old fragrance from like 1970 called um, Signore Vivara. <laughs> oh, what well, happened that? It's kind of an animalic. Um, it, it, well, it has castorium. It starts off citrusy, but then just turns into an animalic. Mm -hmm. um, kind of like the castorium just rides it through. Yeah. But I sprayed that over Naxos, and somehow... Hold on. What was that, Sally? I'm okay with the main guy giving the bathroom break. Copy. Okay. I don't have to do a bathroom break. So, <laughs> so I sprayed Naxos before I went and got my hair cut. And uh, my lady, Chani, who cuts my hair, she, I only sprayed it, like, uh, one on my chest and one on each forearm, on the yeah. upper part of my forearm. And when I came in, she, like, like sniffed my neck, right? <gasps> she said, you smell really nice, really, wow. really nice. And I was like, wow. I was like, okay, thank you. And then she Jeez. cut my hair. And then I got home, and before I left for work, I tried this... Uh, Signore Vivare, which is the old school animalic masculine scent. And I put it right over the top of the Naxos and yeah. it worked out very nice. So. Nice. Very cool. Uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm surprised. Th that's the thing. Like, I don't try to, um, what do they call it? When you make layer, layer, but sometimes you do something, it works out fine. You know? yeah. Might as well roll with it, you know? Yeah. There's that plenty of times where I've, where I've layered on accident and it didn't work out well. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I noticed um, a lot of sweet tobacco scents will go good with uh, like fougeres and aromatics. Yeah. Uh, like uh, tobacco goes good with almost anything. It seems like. Yeah. Um, but like you, you can't mix like a sweet Tonka boozy scent with the same type of aromatics because they just, they don't mingle. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, I'll go back to the sunset because it'll probably be within the next five minutes and, um, well, you could cut it or not, but, um, okay. I'm enjoying the show. Oh, thank you, dear. And I'll, I'm going to turn the mic off. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. So you guys get to watch a sunset while we finish up. Yeah, the um, I really like jewelry. It's really nice on skin. Which one did I spray on my hand? Was that Yasmina that I put on skin? It smells kind of cumin-y. No. Interesting. <laughs> Gotta love Duncan, Yara says. That's an office with a view. It is, isn't it? Must be nice. I say that, but I'm a mobile dog groomer, so I get to at least I get to see something different every day. But you know, oh, 40 knots is really good, Tara. I'm pretty sure Chris is gonna like be super jealous because he's been willing to. Oh, yep, there you go. Like I said, um, everyone should try Aventus 10th anniversary edition. I actually sent a um, I sent a picture of the 10th anniversary edition to uh, Killa earlier today. Um, have you guys seen the 10th anniversary edition bottle? Um, where is he? There's the pictures. Okay. Yeah, so this is what the bottle looks like for the 10th anniversary edition. It's like they made like a darker version of the Green Irish Tweed bottle, which is super black. And then, sorry, it's not clear or anything, but 10th anniversary edition. 
So, yeah, it almost looks like it's fake. I don't know why they did why exactly it looks like that. But um, yeah, I wonder, you know, how much different it's gonna smell because you you never know. Oh, he's gone. There it went. I'll be on the lookout. Uh, Duncan, are you on Facebook? Got a link up. He is on Facebook. Um, he's on my friends list, Jonathan. You can probably find him that way. Never smelled a Zhuzhov I didn't like. I've smelled a couple I didn't super care for. Um, but even the ones I didn't care for, I still appreciated. Like um, like Dolce & Malfi. I love the opening so much, but I didn't really enjoy the end very much. So, um, not the end, the, the mid and the dry down. Um, but, yeah. did I did enjoy the opening a lot. Um, the rest just wasn't my thing. That bottle looks tacky. It's a little tacky, you know, to each their own. You watch your mouth. <laughs> oh, gosh. Maybe to stop the juice from going off. Yeah, it'll be on my friends list. Not the first time I've left a great event. Oh, my. Um, it's a great scent, but not for me. I agree. And you, Ducky? Do, do, I don't know what, is that how you say duck in French? I don't know French, but yeah, I think I've smelled basically everything that I want to smell through today. Um, my nose is a little bit shot. I really should have done the Cajal fragrance at the beginning. Um, they were strong and I smelled a lot of shit, but laugh at creative in the world lives better. Yeah. Jewelry, super, super good. If this was Yasmina that I sprayed on my skin, it may not be for me. I don't remember, but it definitely smells like cumin now. Um, I liked Fida. Oh, Duck is back. You're back. I forgot. I, I forgot I had two percent on my phone. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Oh, it's getting so close to the horizon. You know, I've never been on that side of the. Uh, of the states well not all the way over there i guess um like my dog's trying to wake my kid um i've been to montana uh, like yellowstone and to the dakotas and um yosemite all that kind of stuff i guess um did i do anything else glacier national park beautiful place literally had a snowball fight and it was like 70 degrees outside really really nice which smells like cumin i think it was yasmina if that, i can't remember which one i sprayed on my hand um try to remember which one of these it was no idea can't smell cumin out of the I'm not really smelling cumin out of the sprayers on any of them, so I'm not sure which one I sprayed on my skin. But um, yeah, one of them has a cumin y kind of dry down. They do have a fancy box, they're felt. Yeah, they're like felt. And then this is magnetic, very fancy. It's a good magnet, too. And then, I, like I said, I really liked Fida. <clears throat> this was the tobacco one that was kind of powdery and yeah, very, very nice. It comes with a coaster for your drinks. I should have put this one on skin. Oh, that one's really nice too. Shoot. I have to put that on skin also. Hillary, does anything change if I, I turn my phone sideways? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. You're you're full screen. That's what you're asking. Oh, that, that that's okay. You could still see. Yeah, it's going over the bridge. Yeah. Under the bridge. And within like two minutes you'll see it like drop. It drops faster. Like the faster it drops, the faster it drops. If that makes any sense. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's so beautiful. Fida is really beautiful in skin too. So the Fida one was the tobacco and fruity one, but it's very creamy. Very, very nice. Sit in the dock of the blanket. No people, just buffalo. <laughs> oh, you only spent time with buffalo? 
Duncan. You and the Alameda shipyards. Uh, Ashgon, I thought you were only using one word responses. <laughs> You're bad at this. Oh. If anyone needs a sample set, PM me, message on Instagram or on here. Just mention this from Hillary's chat. That would be awesome, possum. Yeah, so if anybody wants to smell some fragrances. <laughs> These are beautiful. Yeah, I definitely, my favorites, definitely Fida and Jewelry and um, Warda. 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 So bad at that. So sorry. Um, yeah. And the 4160 Tuesdays fragrances we smelled, I loved the sexiest scent on the planet ever, in my opinion, in my honest opinion, and the extra sexiest, all those other extra words. Um, I liked um, Mrs. Gloss's Lemon Sherbet. Um, I did not like Mother Nature's Naughty Daughters. That was very, like, designery fragrance, too sweet and fruity. Not, not my favorite. Um, I don't know, wait, I don't know if there is DM here. Uh, I don't think there's DM here on YouTube. There is on Instagram. Um, maybe they could find you on, on IG. Um, Jury has been on my list, it's nice. Really different. It definitely has that mentholated combo with the floral nuances and it's it's just really different i like it a lot and it has that nice like light colored honey sweetness it's really beautiful i always have deep thoughts and watching this and said so, yeah i wouldn't get much work done if i worked on the docks i just watch the sun all day long just google because all fragrance and go to the website there's a whatsapp option i don't know if that was english rich because i don't know what any i don't know what whatsapp is uh no i didn't have i didn't have a sample of centerpiece taffy is that one i need to try i messaged you on insta okay awesome yeah very cool so i think once the sun sets we'll probably end this because it's been almost two hours wow i have no idea how much is a sample set um i'll check out their website real quick or he might answer me before I can even get it to pull up, you know. Which all views. Oh, holy moly. Look at this coming soon bottle. What? Lamar by Kajal. Would y'all, would you just look at it? That is wild looking. Oh my goodness. What's in that? Are the notes listed for you? So sold out pre-order. Darn it. What are, what's in there? Fruity notes, bergamot, coriander, cardamom, orange, jasmine, rose, rose, marble, magnolia, saffron. Wow, that bottle is gorgeous. That's insane. You don't know what WhatsApp is. No. Should I? They use WhatsApp in other countries. I had to use it somewhere else in the UK. What do they use it for? Um, exactly. Depends which one. Oh, probably depends on which uh, sample set. Gotcha. I'm, I stand under. That is a really pretty bottle. Holy cow. I have to have at least one bottle just for my collection. <laughs> Seagulls. It's like a messenger service. What's so wrong with texting? Um, discovery kits. Okay. So it looks like the only discovery kit that's currently in stock on their website is the coaster kit, which is 30 minis. Um, their classic collection kit, which has Kajal, Dahab, and Kajal Om. Price isn't listed, but um, that might be nice to try. I liked Kajal. I don't know. I didn't smell Dahab or um, the other one. And then... Oh, they have a deluxe collection kit, which has 12, ooh, 12, yeah, 12 fragrances. That's awesome. Again, I don't know the price on that one. Sorry, guys, because it's, it's currently sold out on their site. But that might be, when it comes back in stock, that would be a really awesome option. 
Um, classic is 28.50. There's, when are you coming back to the UK? Mitch, you tart. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, that was awesome. That, that's it. Yeah, that was beautiful. That's it. Yeah. I need to uh, hook up. I have a better camera, but I don't know how to link it. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on and showing that to us. All right. Thank you, Hillary. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Thank you, dear. See you later. Bye. So, um, yeah, that was all of our that was all of our sniffins. For this evening um thank you so much for popping in because y'all and answering our questions and dealing with my sad attempts at picking out notes <laughs> but um yeah those are great that's not bad yeah not bad at all like i said that came with 12 cents in that deluxe one that looked that looked pretty awesome when um because y'all when um when the new fragrance comes out the lamar i think is what it was called Will you include that in the deluxe or, um, or will you have a way for people to sample that one as well or anything along those lines? Yeah, um, that's not bad. Hopefully before too long, Rich, I'm supposed to be going to Europe, Eastern Europe in March, but I kind of doubt that's happening. Yeah, I wanted to go to England next year and I'm not sure that I'm going to get to go or not. And I wanted to go to, um, I wanted to say since, since, and that's Josh's channel. Um, Exxon's. I wanted to go to Exxon's. Um, and I'm, it's currently scheduled for February and I'm not sure if they're going to end up canceling that. So yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully everything dies down soon and, uh, people stop getting sick because it's pretty heartbreaking. Thanks, Barry. Thanks, Duncan. I don't have a deluxe bank account. <laughs> I feel that, Amy. I'll meet you, Tara. Well, oh, you'll have a new sample set. That's awesome. Is this the Kajal from Scent Geeks? Don't know. I'm not. I, I haven't been able to catch up on Scent Geeks. I need to. Um, I need to get caught up on those. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, kids, it's been almost two hours, and it's bedtime. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by the burrow and listening to me yammer on about lots of fragrances for a long time. Yep. It's been great. You guys have a great night. Be safe. Love you all. Toodles.